I'm Trisha Clements, Chief Fur Wrangler with MuttButts.com. I'm a social media content creator for pet businesses. And in this video, I'm going to talk to you about something called Click to Tweet. It is a great thing to use in your blog or website so that you can break up the content and make it a little more readable. Make sure you stay tuned to the end. I have a free download that goes through every step that you need to take for your Click to Tweet picture and also for the link. You're going to start out here at clicktotweet.com. You're going to sign in with your Twitter to get started. I'm already signed into Twitter so it went ahead and accepted it. If not, you'll need to log into Twitter there. And this is a free account. Um, they do have paid accounts um, for unlimited links, but this is, I do four to five or so links a month and I uh, don't need to pay for, uh, for them. Okay, so what I'm going to do is put in what I want the tweet to say. So when someone clicks on my link that it's going to generate, um, this is what I want it to say. So I'm saying click to tweet and I'm going to go ahead since I'm talking about uh, a company I'm going to go ahead and um, at mention them and I have is a great addition to your blog and newsletter for your audience to share your content then I put via at mutt butts which is my handle so make sure you include your handle in it so when someone tweets this you get tagged then I have a link to my blog where I talk about uh, the topic that is being tweeted out. So when someone clicks on the link, they're going to go and it is going to pull this up. Let me show you. You're going to next say generate the basic link. Here is your link. So this is what you are going to want to copy that link. And so when people click on it, what they are going to see is this. It's going to come up and they will, if they're already logged into Twitter, it'll come up like this. If not, they'll need to log in where it says that click to tweet is a great addition to your blog and newsletter for your audience to share your content via at muttbuds, muttbuds.com slash click to tweet. Now make sure, so the main thing you want to do is test it and make sure I have one left because you know that Twitter only allows 140 characters. So make sure when you do your click to tweet that it is the right amount of characters and does not go over. And so then when someone tweets that, that will go out, it will tag me and it will tag click to tweet and it will also have a link to my blog. The way that I typically do this is to go ahead and make a image in Canva. And I talked about that last week, how to make an image. But here is what I do. It basically says the same thing. Click to tweet is a great addition to your blog or newsletter to get your audience to share your content. Click to tweet the little Twitter bird. And that image on mine I typically use is 600 by 100, but you can use whatever fits into your blog post. So you'll put your image in your blog or your newsletter and you will use that link that we just generated here. That is going to be the link and when people click on that image it will be this, this link here and it will come up as this. So there is your click to tweet to include in your blog and also your newsletters. Now that you know how to create your click to tweet image and also link, I have a free checklist in the description below. You can click on it now and that will give you a full list of everything you need to do to use your click to tweet image and also link in your blog. It's really good to include that in your blog because a lot of times when people are reading and they have just the text on the page, they really like to have images that break that up and that really helps with the readability of your blog. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please click the like button, share it with your friends, and subscribe. I'm Trisha Clemens, Chief Fur Wrangler with MuttButts.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.